Hi gang, wanted to shoot an update on Von Manstein's backhand blow from GMT. So we've played turns two, three, and four. Um, I have not started the administrative segment of turn five yet, but I did move the turn marker over. Okay, so we pushed with the Soviets. We're trying to get to Kharkov, and that was where the main effort went. And I'm gonna tell you, you get those German mechanized units along in those woods along those river along the Donitz River front there, and they are hard to, let's say, uninstall from those positions. <laughs> and then they start getting, you know, Manstein starts plugging in more mechanized units, pulling them from all over the place, and uh, actually cut off some of these guys. Um, this this guy here, he'll come back into supply on this turn here. Um, he won't because of zones of control, friendly zones of control don't affect the supply. Uh, that German unit that was over here all by himself, he finally got, finally got taken out, but it gave time to move more in there. And then the infantry unit that was up here, he got uh, removed on this turn, but he did some damage in the process. So he took that, that large Soviet infantry division or corps that attacked him or army or whatever it was down to, took two steps away from him. Um, this German that's out of supply over here, he'll probably come back into supply on this turn as it sits right there. And, you know, he, the Germans got reinforcements in over here. Uh, finally got to use some replacements. I got lucky and drew a two and replenished both of those mechanized units and then got those two, uh, KG guys as reinforced, well, one KG guy. And this guy down here is a reinforcements came in at Kharkov. Well, I put him in the administrative move box and then they came out in Kharkov here to, to sort of shun that attack. Um, I would say for the most part, the Germans have been extremely successful compared to um, the Soviets. You've, okay, so after four turns, okay. Well, I mean, I learned it earlier, but it was a little late by then. You've got to get mass numbers when you attack these things. And when these guys are sitting with strengths of 14, 13, and 12, hell, even six or seven in behind water or or in the woods, you know, you're you're having this and you're adding two to the die roll of this or minus and two. And then of course you get your chit draw, which on the last turn, I decided to go ahead and pick. What, well, when I pulled out my chits, like if I had pulled out four and I was only gonna be able to use two, I actually, did it the way the system says, and I, I did a, a, a manual. I tried to use the best ones, which did help the Soviets in one attack, um, didn't really do nothing for them in the other. So it's kind of fun using just the dice roll to randomly pick. But then I found out I was getting multiples of the same thing. And so I started, you know, let's use, let's use, use let's use my brain a little bit and uh, apply the chips what I think is appropriate. Um, casualties, uh, look, I mean, it looks like the Germans are taking a lot, but the Soviets get them in, you know, they, they have like four step units. So, and the victory points now, let me show you over here. So that number right there, let's start, turn four says zero to 20. So if the victory point list is below zero in the victory point segment determination which is at the end of every turn if it's below zero on turn four the germans win the game's over if it's above 20 the soviets win the game's over well let me tell you i don't know how well that works maybe somebody maybe i'm doing something wrong i don't know but the soviets are negative 11 and they have been it has been in the german it has been a german victory for every turn since the game started so i don't either i'm missing something or the game should have been over or that, that rule is kind of not very solid. So, but I'm going to keep playing because I want to see if the Soviets can, can break out. I don't see it because I'm sitting here looking at the German reinforcements and, you know, they've got, you know, SS guys and some mechanized stuff. Now the Soviets are fixing the deal. You know, they're going to start getting a burst here of uh, armored units, armored uh, armies. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm going to keep playing it. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, I think the scale's great. I, it, 
it is a, it plays a little slow, and there's a you know there's 17 game turns to it, but believe me, I played much 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 more tedious games than this, and really the flow of the game for each segment is is not that hard. I've I've already I mean I've already got it's already engraved in my brain now on what to do in each segment. Uh, I just gotta when I get a mud turn though, which I'm not. This will be a froze. Well, I know you have rolled for weather, but when you get a mud turn, it sort of changes things. Um, and yes, this administrative movement box is, in my opinion, a game saver. Because if you deployed these units on their entry hex, which I think, I think these two, they were either over here at Poltava or down here at Stalino or something, and you start moving from there, it's going to take them three or four game turns from there to get to the front, and probably a little more than that from over here to get to the front. So, you know, they come in, stick them right in that administrative movement box number one, then in the first segment, you can move them over there, just like they're on a train. And then on your next segment, you can bring, well, the Germans, you know, two divisions or whatever count as one unit or something like that. So, and then you can just bring them in on the map, you know, as if they moved by train. And they can move the minute you bring them in. So that comes in very, you can get reinforcements to the front pretty good. All right, so right now the Germans have not taken the step losses that the Soviets probably need to put on them. Um, so they're still in great shape. And I, you know, and the fact that I could, I pulled this unit off of the line here, just above Muram, go back here and get his replacements. Now he'll be able to go back up there at full strength. And, you know, quite possibly cut some stuff off with their mobility that they have. I did try to break out with this Russian unit here and he took on a simple two strength German infantry unit, one of these little static units they've got. And yeah, he eliminated him, but that little German infantry unit punished him a little bit. So, uh, of course, the Soviets, you roll for replacements every turn, and you can apply those replacements even if even if the unit is, a, as long as they're within the, the range of the, the front marker or in their in, they're in supply, you can apply it even if they're adjacent to an enemy unit. Um, uh, these units here, I've started to hit. Like I said, he'll be clear this time. Uh, that guy won't, so I've already had to roll for attrition, which took him down. And I had to roll for attrition on this guy over here, took him down. Uh, I rolled for attrition on that German unit over there, but he survived. Germans have a much better roll for some reason on this. All right, so we're going to keep grinding on this one too um, and see how this develops, see if I can get some Soviet forces. What did they get this turn? This is turn five, so they get they get a bunch of a bunch of guard units there. Let me see. Any of them armor? Yeah, they get they get some armor. A bunch of armor, actually. Okay. So maybe that'll help get them in some holes somewhere. The Germans, of course, they get another freaking SS division in there, or SS Corps or whatever. All right. So uh, hey. If you're enjoying this give me the, give me that like let me see that thumbs up on that on the youtube there and if you want to keep up to date subscribe and hit that bell and you'll get a notice every time i add a new video which i don't know i think i'm doing quite a few actually you know try to do at least a couple a week i got another one here i got to shoot now i'll be starting the game look away i'm going through the rules right now and i have the map and some of the pieces set up so and i know a couple of people out there want to see that all right thanks for watching we'll get back to you as soon as we get something new